it's, it's really important after a procedure such as a breast lift or a tummy tuck where an incision has been made on the body to do as much as you can to improve the appearance of that scar so that it becomes inconspicuous over time. I will always put scars in places where uh, they are least conspicuous in natural folds or concealed in, in underwear and overall hard to see. In addition, the techniques that, that I use will optimize the uh, overall effect of scarring in that person. But there are other things that can be done to improve the scar as well. Uh, we have a program, we call it our scar therapy program, which includes several products for scars that help to flatten the scar, make it less conspicuous, and help it blend in with the surrounding skin, the skin above and below it. And those products include a moisturizing recovery gel, retinol, which uh, naturally exfoliates skin, and improves the overall appearance of scars, and then silicone gel, either the topical silicone pads or the silicone that is topically applied uh, with your fingertips. And that also helps to flatten scars. Following that, should it be needed, we can add uh, to the regimen laser treatment and or a broadband light therapy treatment. In a few patients who have darker complexions, hyperpigmentation can be an issue uh, with scars. That is darkening where you actually, uh, that patient can uh, take in pigment in the scar and create kind of a brown line. And we do have a product called a bleaching cream. It's the active ingredient is hydroquinone. And uh, that can be added to the uh, regimen in order to help reduce the uh, pigmentation of a scar. It generally, it generally takes between one and two years for a scar to mature fully. And when it does mature fully, it, it tends to be fairly inconspicuous. Some people heal a little better than others. Some scars uh, we have to work on a little longer than others. It just depends on the patient and their own body chemistry. It is important to note, though, that the way a person heals can be demonstrated by previous procedures that they've had. If you healed well, for instance, from a C-section, and your scar is relatively hard to see, then it's predictable that a tummy tuck scar in your circumstance is also gonna be hard to see and, and heal well.